Hey guys, it's Epoch here, and this is my preview video for the Glasgow leg of the Scotland Loves Anime 2015 Film Festival. The bulk of the screenings will take place this weekend over the 9th to 11th of October, and as always the event takes place at the Glasgow Film Theatre. The festival technically started last night for those of us who are season pass holders, and we were treated to this awesome bag of swag full of all sorts of cool things, as well as a mystery screening, which turned out to be the 2006 film Paprika directed by the wonderful Satoshi Kon. Although a film I've seen many times before and that I do own a copy of it was indeed great to see it on the big screen for the first time. Seriously though, if you've never seen this film before, check it out. Well, let's check out the lineup for this year's festival. On Friday night we kick things off with the European premiere of Attack on Titan Part 1, a live action adaptation of Hajime Isayama's manga Shingeki no Kyojin, or Attack on Titan. Although loosely based on the source material, the film promises to be an exciting action packed horror movie. The film was split into two parts in Japan, and the European premiere of the second part will also be screened on Sunday night to close out the film festival. The films are directed by Shinji Higuchi and have a recommended rating of 18. Next up, screening at 2.30pm on the Saturday, is the Scottish premiere of Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F, the follow up to last year's Battle of the Gods. We see the return of the evil Frieza in a film that promises to be enjoyable for both new and old fans alike. The film is directed by Tadayoshi Yamamuro and is overseen by the original manga creator Akira Toriyama. The film has a recommended rating of 12A. Next up at 5pm on the Saturday is the UK premiere of Miss Hokusai, based on Saru Subire, the Japanese historical manga by Hinako Sugiura. The film has a recommended rating of PG and is directed by Keiichi Hara, who will present the film and take part in a Q&A session after the screening. The film has already won several awards and is the first entry in this year's competition. The final screening on Saturday is the UK premiere of Baruto, Naruto the movie. The film is set after the conclusion of the manga and focuses on Naruto's son, Baruto. The film is directed by Hiroyuki Yamashita and has a recommended rating of 12A. The first film on Sunday is the second competition entry in the UK premiere of The Case of Hannah and Alice. The film is a youth drama that focuses on transfer student Alice who soon learns rumours of a murder that happened at her school. She comes into contact with Hannah and together they follow the threads of a shady investigation that will cement their friendship forever. The film is directed by Shinji Iwai and is a prequel to his 2004 live action film Hannah and Alice. The film has a recommended rating of PG. Next up on Sunday is the third competition entry in the UK premiere of The Empire of Corpses. The film looks to be a psychological sci-fi thriller set in the 19th century. John Watson is counted to be a secret agent in a world of real-life Frankensteins where the dead are reanimated to be used as basic labour. The film is directed by Ryotaro Makihara and has a recommended rating of 15. Now that's all of the films featured in the Glasgow leg of the Scotland Loves Anime Film Festival. So here's a rundown of the times in the films again. Friday, 11pm, Attack on Titan Part 1, live action. Saturday, 2.30pm, Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F. Saturday, 5pm, Miss Hokusai. Saturday, 8.15pm, Naruto, Naruto the Movie. Sunday, 1.30pm, The Case of Hannah and Alice. Sunday, 5.15pm, Empire of Corpses. Sunday, 7.45pm, Attack on Titan 2 Live Action Movie. So those are the times of each of the films, the tickets are available from the GFT box office and their website, there's links below in the description. Although not strictly part of the festival, there is a screening of Letters to Momo at 11.30am on Saturday morning as part of GFT's kids programme. This film was screened at the 2011 Scotland Loves Anime Film Festival and tickets are available at the box office and online. Thank you for watching this preview video, please like and subscribe and look out for a preview video of the Edinburgh leg of this year's Scotland Loves Anime Film Festival. Thanks, bye!